I enjoy using Anchor podcasting services. For one, it's an easy setup. Secondly, you can do everything on the same platform, which includes record and then add music to your podcast if you like. And once your podcast has been saved, you can then distribute it to other platforms with the click of a button. And did I mention that it's free? You couldn't ask for anything better than this. Thank you for tuning in to Bringing the Heat with Regina Weston. Here we inspire and deal with topics that matter. Stay tuned. Bringing the Heat listeners. You can visit my website at www reginaweston.com and while you are there you can find all books written by Regina Weston have you ever been scared I mean like really scared and you don't know where your fear come from where it derived from what is the source of your fear well today we're going to talk about fear now my fear one of them is heights oh my god I am so afraid of heights If I'm in a building and it's on the 13th floor, I cannot look down. That's fear. Fear of falling. Have I ever fell before from a high height? No. So where does that fear come from? I don't know. I'm just afraid of heights. And at some point, I would like to conquer that fear. The second fear is swimming. I don't like anything over my head. Don't try to put nothing over my face to constrict my breathing. I would turn into the incredible Hulk. Fear is crippling. Somewhere along our life journey, we develop fear. Some are founded fears and some are fears based on what? Fear. It releases stress hormones. It allows our blood pressure and our heart rates to increase. We start breathing faster because of fear. The question is, how does fear make you feel? How does it make you feel when you're fearful? Don't you know that fear also weakens the immune system? It can cause cardiovascular damage, ulcers, irritable bowel syndrome, decreased fertility. Fear. You see, when we fear something, I want to give you a quote. And the quote says, today... I would like to encourage you to try to conquer some of your fears so that it don't stunt your growth mentally. So it don't hold you back from your potential. Because as I have described, fear is crippling. And I want you to walk in wholeness. That includes myself. I want to be whole. I don't want to be fearing Going to the mall and walking up the steps and looking back and feeling like I'm having an out-of-body experience because of my fear of falling. Some of us have fears and it's stopping us from being who God has created us to be. And it's stopping us from doing the things that we desire to do. But because we're afraid to get out the box and face those fears, it is stunting our growth. In whatever area of your life that you're trying to grow. Now, some of our fears come from childhood. Rejection. People making you feel that you weren't good enough. You're not good enough. So you fear doing certain things. Because you fear failure. You fear speaking up for yourself. Because you fear negative feedback. Today, I want to encourage you. And let you know that we all have fears, baby. Some are warranted, some are not. But the message today is, may God surround you with his favor as with a shield from all your fears and your worries. May you walk with humble confidence knowing that you have everything you need because you have him. God can help you with your fears. He can help you with those things that are stunting your growth. He can help you with those things that are holding you back from becoming your best self, from living your best life. Today is your day. Step out your box and confront your fears. And once you confront your fears, baby, 
I want you to see how free you will become. Change your perspective, young lady, young man, so that you can soar and fly like a bird. Fly like a bird. I want you to fly like a bird. You only have one life. You got to get out the box and face your fears. Bring in the heat, listeners. If you would like to support this podcast, you can do so through Cash App at dollar sign R Weston 252. That's dollar sign R W E S T O N 252 under the name Regina Redmond. I would like to thank you for your love and your support. Thank you, Bringing the Heat listeners. To listen to this podcast, go to anchorfm.com, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Play, where we bring...